This is Shuttler of the Takar Tomies Transformers Unite Warrior Balter Kiss box set. This is the fourth figure that I will be reviewing and this will make up the final limb of the combined Ruination set. But before we take a look at this action figure, I want to go through one specific thing about him. This is a completely different mold. This is Takar Tomies take on the original Blast Off, making him entirely G1 accurate as it can come in a modern era shuttle. When in hindsight, Hasbro went with the opposite, and instead of giving us a shuttle, we got ourselves with ba -ba -da -dum, a jet. This is Blast Off from Combiner Wars. That's right, no longer a shuttle. He is in fact a jet. And not many people were impressed with that. Many people were actually disappointed with it. And this figure I saw plenty of times on the shelves. Just sitting there collecting dust. Peg warming the place for a long, long time. So, I don't know why they made a difference. Maybe just because, you know, the fact being most of the Decepticons in Generation 1 were military vehicles and such. You you know, maybe that's the reason why they, instead of going with a shuttle, they changed Blast Off into a jet. Wasn't the best move, but hey, Takara Tomy stepped in and fixed that problem. They said we were going back to a shuttle, and they did. And that's the reason why we've got a repaint of him as Movor in this box set. So, yeah, Movor. He is a shuttle still. Thank God. So let's take one last look side by side between these two here. Completely different molds. Neither one of them have any real working wheels, unfortunately. So I'm throwing that out there. You cannot roll Movor at all because Movor does not have wheels. He's got sculpted wheels, somewhat, but they don't roll. And that's unfortunate. So let's bring in the very old Universe 2003-2004 repaint in Desert Camo. It's weird seeing a shuttle in Desert Camo, isn't it? But, yep, it's a thing. So, not too bad there. Once again, let's take a look at the shuttle. Take a look at the wing here. And as you can see, he has the G2 Autobot logo, which isn't upside down unless you go like this, and now it is, so it makes sense for the Car Robots counterpart, but I still prefer if Takar Tomy had just gone with Decepticon logos because... just because they're Decepticons, yeah. So, anyway, not much else to really say about the shuttle. Here it is nice, very nice color scheme. I like the purple for the windows, pretty cool. I feel like there's a little bit of some paint lacking thereof, but whatever, it's not bad. It's a very nice mold. I really there like got that. Uh, let's go ahead and just get something out of the way real quickly. This is his um, right arm, or sorry, right hand for Ruination. Once again, it is the exact same thing as the left one. Very nice sculpt, as you can see. I love the way that these... Fingers are actually different from each other in the way that they are positioned. Very nice sculpting makes it very unique. Kind of looks as if they could actually open up like if they were on pin joints, but they are not. But still, very nice for what we got when compared to what was originally Combiner Wars hands and feet, which were... Ugh. Let's go ahead and transform the shuttle now. Now that we got nothing else to really talk about. Alright, so here is Movor in his robot mode, and he looks pretty dang epic, tell you the truth. Uh, one of the best sculpted deluxe Transformer action figures to ever exist in the sidelines of Combiner Wars and Unite Warriors. So, I really do like this. I mean, th this just screams Movor from Robots in the Skies absolutely perfectly. So, you know... Outside of its color scheme, which is that very, very bright white, we got some 
painted on orange here. We got some at the legs as well. Some black. Not much else of a color scheme going on here. Would have been nice if we had some highlights of silver or something. Or just some kind of color here to break up this way too much orange going on in the chest area. But going side by side with the very old action figure here. You can see that's the reason why. And you know it is what it is. But this is a much much darker orange color kind of reddish in a way and this is actually more of just being on the lines of orange itself so there's a good look between these two let's go ahead and bring in the hasbro release which is wow what a difference let me raise the camera here i noticed that's kind of low so you can get a good look at this so uh yeah we've we've gone from shuttle to a jet back to a shuttle and i do appreciate the car and changing it back to being a shuttle and not a jet i wasn't really much for the jet i understand sometimes change is good but when it really comes down to it that this does not scream blast off in any particular way especially with the sculpting of the face yeah that this is not blast off it is but it's not this is not fan service whatsoever for the guy, and it's unfortunate that uh, Hasbro felt they needed to make a change to this character, because he, if he's not a shuttle, he's not Blast Off. So, this is Blast Off, even though it's repainted into Movor. I mean, th this is this is what we should have got, but so we anyway, did. Let's get to the articulation on this guy, because he's got quite a bit. He's got a ball-jointed head, and due to transformation, he's got a hinge joint for up-and-down movement at the neck. We do have ball-jointed shoulders to get all the play you want. We do have a bicep swivel cut. That's very nice. We do have single-jointed elbows, which does get more than 90 degrees. I mean, we basically get our 180 here. That's impressive. We do have a... A waist joint here, though it's pretty tight, and once again, just like the last figure, it clips into place, so I don't really think that's meant to be messed with. We do have ball joints here at the legs with this much going forward, this much going back, and you can get your JCVD on, kind of. Doesn't go all the way down, but it's to a point where it's satisfactional. And then we got a thigh swivel cut, we got single jointed knees with 90 degrees of play there. And then, of course, due to transformation, we do have a hinge joint for up and down movement at the feet with also an included ankle rocker pivot, which doesn't work as good as many other figures with the kind of pivoting joint, but it does get a fair share of range, so that's nice. And the last thing to go through is the weapons that this figure has to come with. So he's got a very nice giant blaster, and then he's got this small little dinky blaster, which is just because and there you got that and there you got that. okay so there you have it that's my video review of movor from the ruination box set if you have any questions or comments you know what to do hit it down below in the comment section of this video and until the next video review this is your king redis power signing off and saying thank you very much for watching